Hello friends, this video on respiration in organisms part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's now talk about some insect because I told you that in insects they have a tracheal system. They have a system of air tubes through which uh, they undergo respiration. So that sounded interesting. So let us have a look at the tracheal system in more detail. So we have picked up cockroach in this case because I think you are you must be familiar with cockroach. They are generally black or brown in color and they are very commonly seen in your houses, in your neighborhood. So I am sure all of you know how a cockroach is. So it is mostly see it lives on damp places wherever there is uh, water so it generally tends to grow and live there. If you talk about its food it is omnivorous it eats both food grains as well as uh, cereals and other small insects so it eats both uh, plant products as well as other animals so it's like omnivorous and omnivorous are those animals which eat both plants as well as other animals. So they can actually consume any organic matter. So now how do you think? So cockroach you can consider them as a terrestrial organism. So let's see how do they respire. So their respiratory system is something little different and also interesting. So they have a network of trachea we all know what is trachea trachea is nothing but the windpipe it is a tubular structure which uh, helps to conduct the air so this cockroach being terrestrial it takes oxygen from the air which is present in its surroundings so it needs trachea so instead of having just one trachea cockroach they have not only cockroach the insects they have a network of trachea and this network of trachea is termed as the tracheal system in insects so a lot of tubes and the all these tubes together from a form a network so as you can see in this picture you see a lot of structures which are present and they are all connected to each other So in this picture, you can actually see the network of a lot of trachea together. So let us talk about how each trachea works here or how each particular section of trachea works. So again, it has different parts. One important part is a spiracle. So these are small holes which are present on the lateral surface of the body. So towards this side of the body, you can see a lot of holes which are present. These are called spiracles. So let us look at the structure of one particular trachea. So let's say this is a tube like structure which is a trachea. So towards one end of the trachea you have an opening and this openings I mean they open to the extra outside air like how we have nostrils similarly they have spiracles. So these are spiracles and they open to the air. So they take in air and then this air reaches the trachea. Okay, so trachea are tube like structures that open through spiracles. So, so this is trachea, which is a tube like structure. So this trachea, its job is to carry oxygen from air to other body parts. So the air which comes inside the body of the cockroach through the opening spiracle, then it passes through these tube like structures called trachea. And this trachea further divides into branches called tracheoles. So you see here like this it will branch out into tracheoles and these are the places where gaseous exchange will take place because these tracheoles they have network of uh, the fluid which flows through the body of the uh, insects like in case of insects you have hemolymph uh, like how we have blood similarly they have hemolymph so those uh, fluids have their connections with the tracheoles and that is why exchange of gases takes place at the tracheoles. Now it, the, the concept is quite similar to what happens in human beings. We have lungs, we also have trachea, we have nostrils and we have alveoli. So the way we have nostrils, they have spiracles which is the opening. We have trachea, they also have trachea. We have bronchi, bronchioles and alveoli, they have tracheoles. So for us, the exchange of gases take place at alveoli. For them, the exchange of gases takes place at the tracheoles. So these are the tracheoles. 
So that's how this entire thing happens. Now these spiracles, they are like small holes, but these opening and closing of these holes are regulated by a muscular sphincter, which controls its opening and closing, which is present here. So when it closes, then no air comes in. When it opens, then air comes in. So this is how the process of respiration takes place in case of cockroach and other insects. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.